Welcome to a balmy February Thursday. Is it Thursday? I don't know. There's so many boats out on the water at the moment. So we're going to try out a brand new model, which I haven't done before. It's a Camarack 10.5 WA, which stands for walk around. Now this boat has been in high demand, but engines for it have been quite hard to get hold of. Uh, we're very fortunate to have uh, a pair of twin 300 Yamahas here, which are electric steering, steer by wire, um, and auto throttle control. We've got the joystick docking system on it as well. So it's a nice bit of kit to go and test out on this lovely day out here at Blue Sound. Um, these boats are available from us, Atlantic Yachts. Uh, feel free to drop us a message um, or give us a call uh, for a chat about them. We've got one more boat available this season coming in about midsummer. So if you're after one of these, then uh, give us a shout. Right, let's get out there and do some drone footage and have a look around the boat. Right, here we are out in Bovisan Bay. It's a beautiful area down here. It used to be the old dive center over there. And so uh, we're just gonna run through the boat and look at some of the features. Um, we turn the engines off, it's nice and quiet, but we have got a bit of a drift on. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna start the engines up and press a special button called stay point, which will hold the boat in position um, exactly where we are on GPS using the electric steering and moving the engines forwards and backwards to keep us in one place. So if we follow me up here, so I'll start the engines up by pressing this button here. It's a port and starboard engine. Here I've got my autopilot. It's a Yamaha device. And over here on the joystick, here, if you press this button, it does your joystick. But if you press stay point here, it will now hold us in our GPS position where we are right now, which is just there and if we have a look round at the engine you can see the engines are moving independently of each other to allow maximum amount of thrust to hold the boat in exactly the same position now we've got quite a bit of wind blowing us on today so they're working quite hard to keep us in position so now we've got the set point working let's just run through some of the features on the boat uh, this one's got the t-top which is an option uh, most people go for the t-top it gives you a lovely superstructure and the feeling of being inside a boat while still being on what's essentially an open layout boat um, here we've got this open galley this is what we call wet galley so it's outside in the in the weather um, you've got a pull down top here to put it all away you've got a gas cooker here uh, we've got hot and cold water from this tap here a nice little work surface here and obviously your drinks holders and then down below 
we have storage compartment in here drawers here for your knives and forks and here we've got 12 volt fridge with freezer unit as well there are other options for other items up here um, but this area is very useful because you've got a big dining area at the back here with u-shaped seating and a telescopic table now this table drops down to make a sump pad at the back so it's worth going for the extra option of having the telescopic legs there's a grp table or a teak table now this is a teak table and either side of it, we've got these cushion seats that tuck away. And again, on the port side, we've also got some more seating. And these tables fold back here, so you've got grab handles and more drinks holders as well. One of the great features about the 10.5 WA is this huge outdoor seating area. Um, great for entertaining, for your lunch, um, drinks. There's lots of seating all the way around here and it all stows away nice and neatly so you can have more access through the boat to get to the bathing platforms. So at the back here, we've got these large bathing platforms and there is a shower here with hot and cold water. The hot and cold water here comes from a hot water tank that is powered by shore power. Um, so what you do is you heat it up before you come out, stays warm, and then you've got the choice of hot and cold water or a mix for showering off when you come out the water. Across the back of the boat here is a nice easy access. So you've got a good handrail across here and you can cross the stern or transom of the boat to get to the other side so if your pontoon's on the starboard side then actually you can access the boat from both sides really nice open space here and there's no compromise with the engines trimming up and having to move the rear bench you've got lots of space and one of the lovely features about this boat is the drop down side deck here um, you've got a couple of bolts you pull forwards by taking the safety clip off and then Lower it down. So here we are with a lovely side deck that's opened up here. Um, it's really nice space for jumping off into the water, you can swim around, get on the back from the, the transom there with the bathing ladder. But it really gives it a nice open feel, especially if you're an anchor out here on the open seas. So it's really nice features inside the actual T-top here. You've got this really nice central helm position. So it's almost like having a centre steered car because your main steering position is right here in the centre and you've got a seat for co-pilot either side. And both these seats have dropped down bolsters and armrests. It's really nice and comfortable. And you've got foot stand here and one even higher so I can sit right up. And when I'm driving along, I quite like this driving position like this, but when you come to dock, you can adjust the steering wheel with this option. And docking with the steering wheel in a more truck-like position is a lot easier from manoeuvrability. You haven't got to use your wrist so much to turn the steering wheel. So there's a nice option to get the adjustable steering wheel. Um, up here on the dashboard, we've got two 12-inch chart plotters, both axiom, so I've got charts on one, and I've got the sonar on the other, and you can choose different options. So we're gonna have charts on both if we wanted. And over here, we've got a simple Garmin VHF. Uh, it's got AIS on it as well, so it tells you where other boats are around. Um, we've got trim tabs down here to the right of the steering wheel, the Lenko electric trim tabs. So you can go for the auto trim tab. There's another option for about a thousand pounds more, but these are pretty easy to use, quite handy in a short shop. You can trim the bow down. And if you've got loads of people on one side of the boat, you can trim the boat from port to starboard as well. Um, over here we've got all our switches, really nice and easy to read. For our interior lights, we've got underwater lights down here, your water pump, bilge pump. 
you can run the anchor windlass from the bow, from the actual anchor well itself, or from here at the helm control. It's a nice option. There's again drinks holders everywhere, and then you've got a little storage compartment here for putting your phone so you can charge your phone up by popping it in there and plug it into one of these charging points. It's all nice and safe. In a minute, we're going to come alongside and I'll show you how to use the joystick docking system. It has five different settings for different amounts of thrust. We've got it in setting five because we've got a tidal here, and there's a lot of wind. We're going to dock the boat sideways just using that. And if it's really windy, you've got the backup of the bow thruster here as well. Um, you won't have to use this very often, but in very windy conditions, you might want the bow thruster just to bring the bow in as well. The best thing about this T-top is this screen here. This is a clear view screen. Um, they keep a nice, it's not like having an actual window without it being glass or plastic. So this unzips, you can remove all this to make it nice and open in here. And you've also got the sunroof as well. So really nice and airy, making it feel like an open boat, sports boat, but you've still got that protection, which is perfect for the UK climate. So here we are in the marina, uh, Queen Anne's Battery, just about to park the boat up. And what I've done is I've gone into joystick mode and then pressed the stay point here. And it's holding the boat exactly in the fairway here between the yachts. And as you can see, we've got boats very close either side of us. And over here, that one right there, very, very close to us. And I'm not even touching the helm here, and it's just holding us in position. We have a quick look around the back at the engines. They're working hard just to hold us in our GPS coordinates right here between all these boats. There's a bit of tide and a bit of a breeze as well, so just having to keep up. But within basically a couple of feet, it's actually holding us bang in position. And all by just pressing this little button here. And what we're going to do now is pop the drone up and then uh, have a look and see what it looks like from above as we go alongside.
Okay, so here we have the anchor locker with the remote for the anchor. Only works when the ignition's on. So make sure you've got the engines running. And then you press up and down here. And the electric windlass lets the anchor chain up and down. You've got a nice stainless steel gas strut here. So it shouldn't go rusty. Uh, you've got a U-bolt here or D-ring here for tying your end of your anchor line on so it doesn't go overboard when you push it all out. And here we've got the winch handle for tightening up the clutch. So if you find that this is slipping, you can tighten the clutch up here um, so it grips the uh, chain better. Or if you want to suddenly let it all go out and this has stopped working for, for instance, your batteries are flat or something, then you can just knock that off and the chain will go straight out with the anchor. So in an emergency, you then just cut this line and you can cast your anchor off. Nice, easy to use. So up the front here, we've got a footwell. This is often referred to as the forward cockpit. So again, forward cockpit. Um, and up here, you have an option of a clip-in table that fits here in a little bracket and sits up here. So you can sit around here having drinks. Most people just stick with the cockpit table in the cockpit at the back, but it's a nice little option there should you want it. Here we've got large sunbathing area. All these cushions unclip and come off. Particularly nice about this is you've got drinks holders here, a nice back rest, and there's your access hatch and window into the forward cabin. So you can leave that up when you're sleeping down there and lets the light in down below. Nice and spacious, perfect for a little snooze. Okay, so along here we've got a nice walkway, it's offset, uh, so it's wider on the port side than it is on the starboard side, but you can still walk down the starboard side. So coming along here we've got LED courtesy lights lighting up your footpath, and we've got this nice and high guard rail with a larger gauge handrail. So it feels nice and secure, lots of grab holds all the way around the boat. And stepping down here, it's nice and steady and because it's such a big boat, it's very, very well balanced on the water. So you don't tend to find it rocks too much. We have had one of these fitted with a sea keeper and in the large locker down beneath the table there, we can put a sea keeper for stability. Obviously it comes with a bit of a price tag, but it is an option. Right here, down below, we have a really spacious forward bow cabin that also doubles up as a saloon. So we've got the galley area here. So on top of the wet galley up top, we've also got this interior one here. So to have a quick look, you've got double gas burner that runs off a 907 gas cylinder. And here we've got a sink. It's stainless steel with this lovely Corian top and Corian finish across the work top here and you've got a mixing tap here for hot and cold water. Lots of storage areas all over the boat, so storage up there for kitchen utensils. In here we've got room for storing your glasses. There's power points all over the boat and nice opening. There we go. So great for venting the gases out from the kitchen and cooking. And then our cupboards here, you've got a waste paper bin. Here we've got the microwave, and then down below here we've got sliding drawers, again on soft clothes. Anywhere we've got storage, there is storage. Up in this seating area here we have another telescopic adjustable table. So this table will rise up and down, it will spin as well to open up the space and it also drops down into the gap here and that with another piece of wood at the back there and an infill cushion makes this into a big large double berth and if you've got guests there's also a privacy option which will demonstrate a pull out curtain that gives you privacy should you have guests on board it stows away neatly inside this Upright locker. 
letting light in here from the forward cockpit area. Then up above the table there is escape hatch and hatch opening up into the bathing area on the bow. And behind me we've got these lovely hull windows, again with more portholes that open. So really nice in your hot country, you can allow the cold air coming off the water to infiltrate the boat and keep you nice and cool when you're sleeping on board. Uh, this one's got the, uh, the white marlin PVC finish to it, which is like a faux leather. You can go for the standard upholstery, which is linen. Um, but uh, let's go suspect this one. Throughout the boat, this one's got interior carpets, which all unclip, so nice and easy to clean. And this boat has the rear cabin with a door. Now, there is an option to have just an open version of this. So this superstructure here isn't, isn't actually on the boat, so it's more open. But most people go for this one. It's a bit more expensive, but it gives you privacy. It gives you a master cabin down below. So here we are in the master cabin. This is the rear cabin. Um, lots of space in here. We've got these infill cushions that make this into a large double. There's two there for the bow berth. But you can sleep either way in it. So lengthwise or across, most people go lengthways. There's lots of lighting in here. There's lots of openings as well. So you've got hull windows, porthole openings up into the cockpit up top. And we've got some nice, easy open lockers on here. In here you've got your Fusion stereo system. But there's a hanging lock in there, so you can hang your shirts in there as well. And then on this side, we've got a nice pull-out drawer. Ideal area for a little vanity unit. Again, all soft clothes. So a really good option for two couples to stay on board or a couple of children and adults. Um, total privacy between the cabins. It's a really good spec. So in here we've got the heads. It's a nice upright space. We've got the sink here. We've got storage up here, mirror, and then hot and cold water at the tap. And here you've got your tank for your waste tank. It tells you how much water you've got and how much uh, grey water you've got on board. And behind here, there's the standard toilet roll holder. And what's nice about this one is the shower cubicle is separate. You've got a sit down seat for the toilet, so you can sit down and shower. And there's also a closing door on this to keep the water out. And this area is quite useful also as a wet cabin. So if you're at sea and you've got lots of wet gear or your wetsuits, you can hang them up in here and they'll dry nicely.